Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. So for this week's video, I have the latest scrawler box. This one is the March box. I'm very eager to see what we've got inside and make some art with it. So let's go check it out. We'll just get everything out of the box. Just move that out of the way. So we have the art supplies and the rest. So let's look at the art supplies first. So we have the scroller sticker here and that looks amazing. Absolutely stunning can't wait to see what's what we've got in the box here I really love that and so that's the scroller sticker then we have the scroller challenge which is feminine energy I won't look at the back because it tells you everything that's in the box um, we have a Copic uh, super brush and medium uh, broad in mallow so you've got chisel and I've got the oh, super brush copic so this is a chow which I believe is the um, lowest brand but still pretty cool that it's a copic and um, we have had this before in a scroller box uh, a purple copic I think um, uh, with drawing with waffles uh, box many many years ago um, and we also have this one here geo2 and this one is spectrum green same again chisel and the brush there and we've got another one so this one again is e31 and this is the brick beige Again, chisel and a brush. And we also have a Stettler pigment liner 0 0.8. Um, quite a nice, nice size pen liner. And we also have a Derwent Graphic 2H pencil. Okay, so not so many art supplies in this box, really. This is it. Okay, um, and we have the Sour Apple Flavor Refresher. I think we've had this before as well. Okay, so there are the art supplies. Um, let's have a look at the art print. That is absolutely amazing. I'd be amazed if if this was created with just this. That's crazy. That's stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, so the featured artist is Katrina Young, an Australian fine artist and illustrator. Um, and there's all their credentials just there. I'll go check her out. But absolutely beautiful. Um, we also have a Bristol board sketch tile, 148 by 148 mils, which is 5 by 8, 5 by 8 inches. So it's Bristol board, light surface, great for pen, pencil and paint. And there's 10 sheets, 250 GSM, which is 115 pound and acid free. So quite very smooth actually. Gosh. Yeah, nice, it's very smooth. And then we have the scroller zine. Um, so this just gives you a brief description of the art supplies um, and then um, uh, QA &A with the artist Katrina Young. Look at that. Yeah, I love her art style, that's beautiful. Um, and then tips and tricks of how to work with the art supplies. Um, so you can actually create quite 
a range of colors with these three pens um, and then artist advice as well and then we have the school gallery for the 80 number 89 scholar box which i believe was january's box um, there's some really cool cool drawings here love it absolutely love it um, and then the scholar top three very very nice Okay, icons and eyebrows I'll have a read of that a bit later um, but yeah um, so not so much in in this box to be honest um, but the challenge is you know to work with what you've got um, and I'm sure you can create something amazing with just these art supplies um, yeah I'm very eager um, to um, to think of something um, with the prompt feminine energy um, yeah uh, I'll do some swatching and then we'll jump into the art and um, so I'll catch you at the end of the video. You came in like a storm with no one in swept me off my feet was a deadly dance and I knew if I stayed I would never leave cause you had my heart in your hands soft like a summer and then it was a deadly dance and I knew if I stayed I wouldn't stand a chance thunder Just like the boat from the blue you came right in Loved me to the bone Couldn't believe that you were mine Never felt this kind of love before And you had my heart in your hand Soft like a summer And then it was a deadly dance And I knew if I stayed out I don't know what else to do I 
wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter. Nothing matters, so I cry instead.
we are at the end of the video and these are the two art pieces that I created initially I was only going to do this one art piece but as it was quite simple um, and I felt like I need to challenge myself a bit more with the art materials in this box I did attempt a portrait as well um, but yeah I'll, I'll start with this one first um, and then I'll, I'll jump in about the portrait in a moment so the prompt was feminine energy and initially when I got the, when I read the prompt I was thinking of a feminine goddess like person um, that has a, like very uh, spiritual symbols of energy and nature and this is kind of what I came up with. I did actually do some uh, concept sketches in my sketchbook. Um, I actually found a reference on Pinterest, which if you know, uh, Pinterest is my go-to for references, of a model um, coming down the catwalk in this very flowy and goddess-like uh, gown. And she looked absolutely beautiful and feminine. Um, which most models do um but but i really like the image and i love the dress and i just really wanted to incorporate that into this drawing um and then i wanted the moon and the sun because they are symbols of energy um and uh and as i'm all about nature i wanted to get like leaves and petals and some like forms of flowers uh, in this drawing so this is my first concept I was playing around with the colors um, and I did a little thumbnail concept just here just changing it up a little bit changing the colors just seeing what works what doesn't work um, and I really did like the the leaves coming round uh, from the bottom coming all the way to the top I really did like that but I absolutely loved um, the drawing here where she's kind of walking through the petals and leaves as if she's creating them um, so I really really did like this so I wanted to keep that in there so basically I just took bits from these drawings of what I liked and and did this so it is a little bit different but I, I think it looks quite nice it's very simple um, I didn't go too mad with the Copic markers I think the most I did was layering um, the dress uh, to incorporate the shadows the highlights um, to make it look uh, more flowy um, like it's moving um, but other than that I it was very very simple I, I sketched out with the pencil that was included which is the Derwent Graphic 2H pencil um, and I am I do I do sketch a lot and I do rub out a lot because I am a perfectionist so I like to to get it right I like I, I want to make sure that the proportions are, are right the composition is right and everything so I do sketch out a lot and I do rub out a lot however um when I was sketching um I had trouble rubbing out my sketches uh, on this paper um I don't normally um it's fine um but for some reason I just couldn't do it and I don't think I was particularly hard with the pencil um, but there are um, sketch marks with the pencil that I just couldn't get out um, also with the uh, with the pen I think I was just being a little bit impatient um, when I was doing the ink work and moving around I didn't give it a time to dry and because of that I was getting ink on the side of my hand and then I was smudging it around on the paper so there are um, ink smudges on this piece which is unfortunate uh, even here it's all smudged but um, overall it's still I'm still happy with it it is very simple it's not usually my art style but I quite like the con uh, composition and the design of it so overall I am happy um, with that one Okay, so I'll move on to this one. Um, so if you've been following my art journey for a while on YouTube, you may have noticed that I don't tend to do portraits. Um, I've done a couple, but not in great detail. Um, and it's not because I don't um, enjoy doing portraits or um, know how to do portraits. It's just because I prefer doing uh, nature or animals. That is my go-to, I enjoy um, drawing those subjects so um, as the prompt was feminine energy and the featured artist did this absolutely stunning artwork of this beautiful woman um, I wanted to challenge myself and um, try and 
do a portrait in more detail with these art materials um i and this is this is what i came up with um i i have to say i'm i'm not happy with it i'm very disappointed with with what i've put up um but i wanted to include this in the video i didn't want to just put up what um my my first drawing and leave it that i wanted to show you my journey um in art whether it's good or bad or how i feel about it i wanted to share that with you um the reference that i used and what i've i've actually drawn here do not correlate um they don't look at all alike um, and that's where I'm disappointed in myself because I know I could do better. Um, I used to do portraits quite a lot, normally in um, pencil or charcoal or colouring pencils. So if I'd done done this um, um, person in those art, uh, art materials, then I know I probably could have done better. Um, but as I've, I've used an art medium that I'm not confident with, um, I it, it is just not portrayed the same way um, believe it or not the reference that I use is a famous um, actress um, it, uh, she, I deliberately chose her because she's um, an absolutely beautiful person inside and out um, she gives up a very feminine energy um, I absolutely love the actress and um, I would love for you to um, put a comment um, down below of who you think this this person is, this actress is. Um, it would be interesting to see if you actually got, got it from my drawing. Um, I don't think it looks like the person at all, so I will be amazed if you did get, get it. Um, but yeah, um, I should be a little bit lighter on myself i shouldn't be so harsh um but i just know that i could do better um with with this um and as i said i have done portraits before and i know i, I know how to do portraits i know how to get the composition right and um the distance between the eye the nose and the mouth mouth and the um the ears between um so yeah i do know how to do all of that but for some reason um I just couldn't get it with this one um, and it is probably because I am just that rusty I haven't done a, a portrait in quite a long time um, but yeah uh, I also had I don't know why but I had a real struggle with these markers on this paper I don't know if the paper's right for this I mean it's very smooth very smooth paper um, and as much as I layered this it didn't bleed through which is really impressive um, and I layered a lot because I was try really 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 trying to get this smoothed out which is what markers do they tend to be quite smooth but for some reason it just it it just looks really bad um, I, d I don't know what I've done wrong um, to be honest and if you if you've got an idea of what I might have done wrong please do leave a comment down below because I am here to learn and I want to um, show you my good and my bad so yeah I, I don't know I really don't know at all how I've managed to get it streaky and if you can just see the the reflection it just doesn't seem right at all um i <laughs> i haven't got a clue um the pen would have I, I think i would have liked the pen to have been a finer pen just so i could have got like the finer details with the eyebrows the eyelashes and the hair um but but uh, yeah i i don't i don't, it's very different from this this one um and maybe because i did layer it so much that it just wouldn't blend anymore but i i i don't know um so yeah these are the two art pieces that i created please do leave a comment down below what you think of them um and um please do let me know if you think you know this person um and if you got any tips or um ideas of how I could do better with this at all but um but yeah um i didn't want this to be a completely negative there was a positive and a, 
a slightly negative but don't get me wrong i think it turned out okay you can clearly tell it's a person but um yeah i just wanted to share with you like my ups and my downs um with my art journey so um i think everyone has that so yeah i just wanted to share that with you but yeah um please do give me a like share and a subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you take care bye